Hello, Tom and Padawans. I'm your Jedi Master today, and I would like to talk about The Last Jedi. Now, it has been over a year since The Last Jedi has been released, and talking about it now, after all the hype has died down, I think we can all agree that it was an okay movie? Oh no, the comments! The comments, okay. Honestly, guys, this is a very dis divisive movie. There's people on one side saying it's the best Star Wars movie ever made. There's people on the other side saying it's the worst Star Wars movie ever made. We shouldn't ever do this again. Please, please, never make another Star Wars movie that is like this. Never let this director do this. Never let this producer do that. Never let this actor do this. Okay, we are very divisive about the movie. Me, personally, I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was okay. Looking back on it, though, if you remember my initial review of it, the really quick spoiler-free review of Star Wars The Last Jedi, I said that it was very good and that uh, it might even be better than The Force Awakens. I've rewatched it recently, and I have to reiterate and re state my opinion. I do not believe that it is better than Force Awakens. I still believe it's a very good movie. However, it does have some major flaws with it, but that's not what we're going to look at today. That's for their official review. What we're going to look at today was, was The Last Jedi's marketing too good? So, The Last Jedi's marketing is really damn good. It was really awesome. It had a lot of really cool stuff. I remember actually watching the trailer and getting goosebumps. I've got, my hair is standing up. I have goosebumps whenever I watched it. And the thing about it was, was that its trailer and its marketing was way better than The Force Awakens was, which made expectations very high as opposed to The Force Awakens, which its trailer and its marketing wasn't the best. I remember a lot of people being very divisive about it, even myself. Because um, it had the Ebon Hawk, but the Ebon Hawk was CGI. It had a lot of cool stuff in it, but it also had a lot of stupid stuff in it. And it just really divided the audience, so whenever it came out and people noticed how good it was, everybody was on board with saying, Oh yeah, The Force Awakens, it's a great movie. You should go out and see it. The last night I did the reverse of this. Its marketing was too good. And the movie that was delivered, while good, was more flawed. And the thing was is that whenever the marketing came out we thought this this and this and then the movie came out and it was this this and this so let's break down some stuff of what we expected versus what the movie gave us so the marketing the trailer indicated that ray was struggling between the light and the dark side now while this is kind of explored upon in the movie it's she's it feels very forced and almost like it almost like it was like oh yeah she's struggling big quotation marks struggling but she really kind of wasn't she wanted to be a good jedi and light sided and all that kind of stuff and it's it feels it feels like they this was a bad decision to make uh, I think personally that she should have struggled a little bit more. They should have really honed in and focused on that aspect. The next thing is Kylo struggled to stay with the dark side. This was also touched upon in the movie, but again, it's really forced. And in the trailer, it shows like him hesitating the moment that he's about to shoot at the ship that his mother's on like he he has he's having this conflict and stuff and that is in the movie that's the only way to become what you were meant to be for a brief moment but 
it feels very forced in the movie as opposed to the trailer where it feels very it feels very natural and like oh wow maybe he still has that kindle of light inside of him maybe he's not all bad maybe he's still got that goodness in his heart it's touched upon but it's never really explored like we thought it would be and Honestly, I think this is another thing they should have really focused in on, honed in on. Now, one thing that the movie did do is it deepened the connection between Kylo and Rey. And I really enjoyed this aspect. And I thought that, oh, this is going to be the time. Either we're Rey struggling with the dark side, Kylo struggling with the light side. Maybe they can help each other to find some sort of middle ground. That never ended up happening. Snow, Snow seemed to play a bigger role in the trailer than he did in the movie, and I think Snoke was given a very big disservice. A lot of people are like, oh, Phasma was disserviced. She should have had a better death and all that. Thing was that Phasma had no character development. She was in there because she looked cool. That's it. But Snoke was always being built up. In the, in the Force Awakens, he's this big hologram, and he looks intimidating, and we don't really ever get a good, like, well-lit shot of him in The Force Awakens, and he looks badass, and all that kind of stuff. And then in, li and then in the trailer, it's like... When I found you, I saw Raw. Untamed power. And beyond that, something truly special. And it's like, who chills, goosebumps, all that kind of stuff. Because he's talking and you feel all that, all that power behind his voice and you feel the strength. And all that. And then he's like, and then towards the very end, he goes, Poor Phil. Destiny. And it shows him torturing Ray. And that part's in the movie. Him actually torturing Ray is, in fact, in the movie. And it's honestly a kind of disturbing scene. However, he's in the movie for about five to six minutes and he's killed and I felt like this it just felt uh, very uh, very not fleshed out it should have been fleshed out a little bit more I think Snoke should have been fleshed out a little bit more Kylo turning on him I'm perfectly fine with that if Kylo was, like, trying to strike him and then and Snoke, like, used the force to grab his lightsaber and, like, just flung him off and stuff like that, that would have been awesome. And, like, Rey trying to attack him, but she gets flown off, too. That would have been great. Like, uh, and I won't lie to you. The scene with Kylo and Rey fighting back-to-back -back against all the Imperial Guards... was an awesome scene and I remember clapping during that scene and I remember my whole audience group clapping everybody loved that it was cool however the snow part wasn't that good it was it felt anticlimactic it really should have done more the other thing was Luke Skywalker now this one less so than the others uh, I felt that Luke was under portrayed. Under portrayed. I don't know how to really explain it. However, he's not nearly as under portrayed as these other topics. In the movie, he kind of goes about the same way of not wanting to train Ray because he, he, like he says, I've seen this raw strength only once before. It 
doesn't scare me enough then. It does now. And honestly, this is said in the movie directly to Ray. And it's pretty cool. He he is hesitant about training Ray. He's he doesn't really want to because of the past with Kylo. And you get a little bit more about that. With him having a moment's doubt where he ignites his lightsaber and possibly caused Kylo to fall to the dark side. I'd sensed it building in him. I'd seen it in moments during his training. And I was left with shame. And with consequence. However, there's something that has to be said here. Whenever it showed him by himself, afraid of all these things, they really should have taken this chance to make him a gray Jedi. However, he's still a light sider. And whenever Rey is meditating and doing all that, and she goes straight to the darkness, and he's like, you didn't even try to fight it. You went straight for it. And he should have said something more along the lines of, you need to try to fight it, but embrace it a little bit. Really, they should have taken that chance to make him a great Jedi. That's the only thing that they really should have done because, I mean, he saw his father go from dark to light. He saw his... He saw... Kylo go from dark to, uh, light to dark and he really should have determined with himself maybe the answer is not one or the other but both like his father did okay so that's gonna do it really that's all the trailer really has to talk about everything considering most of the trailer is kind of misleading Especially the part where uh, Ray says, I need someone to show me my place in all this. They really should not have done that because, like I said, the struggle between light and dark should have been a prevalent message, like they said that it would be in the trailer. Not they did, but like. They're implicating it very heavily. And honestly, I think that the trailer and the marketing was too good for The Last Jedi. See, they didn't do good enough job with The Force Awakens. However, The Force Awakens did well because the trailer and the marketing wasn't that great. But the movie turned out to be awesome. The Last Jedi, the marketing and the trailer were just very good. Like, I loved the last jedi trailer i still do it's awesome but the movie was deeply flawed and while not bad it was just flawed and because of this i feel like that's what made people very divisive on the matter but anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this please give it a like it does help out a lot tell me what you think down in the comment section below i really want to hear what you guys think about this topic Anyway, tell a friend today about my stars channel. It's pretty awesome. It may force me with you. Always.